I'm delighted to introduce to you the team from Hankook University of Foreign Studies in the Republic of Korea. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Jin Young, and they're my fellows, Moon Jung and Yu Gyeong from Hankook University of Foreign Studies. We are very thankful and honored to have this presentation opportunity. And our topic of presentation is a combined approach of reinforcement learning and mathematical programming for a real world outbound supply chain optimization. We have five parts in our presentation as below. Let's start with our summary. We reduced the total cost by about $98, $91 in non-AV scenarios and $220, to $80 in AV scenarios. Comparing data provided with our result, we cut down all expenses except for logistic cost. Here's our findings and suggestions. In our findings, our algorithm can reduce the average lead time by more than one day for all scenarios, and use of AVs can reduce the transportation cost considerably. In our suggestions, divide the decision into several parts where each part is de developed for addressing specific business requirements and goals. And an novel approach using AI can be a feasible option. When we first look at tackling this process, we divide it into three sections. The first is network design engine, which make a decision on adjusting capacity of VDC and delivery process from plant to dealer with mathematical programming. Next, in reinforcement learning engine, we decide whether to ship vehicles from VDC to next VDC with trained model by deep neural network. Finally, VRP engine gives us a delivery uh, route from final VDC to dealer. Now we are going to take a look at how they work with the given result. I'd like to hand, hand over to Moon Jung, who, who will explain network design engine. Hi, my name is Moon Jung. It is a great pleasure for me to be here today. I will be presenting about network design, which is the first component of our algorithm. We divided this problem into two parts. The first one is assignment problem. The main purpose is to reduce the transportation cost by picking a proper VDC to the dealer. The linear constraints are as follows. Q is a given parameter to decide the number of VDCs to open, and alpha is a value to control the trade-off, the distance, and alignment. So let's take a look at this figure. Uh, it illustrates why the assignment can reduce the transportation cost. It is an idle in terms of transportation cost. For the plant, BDC and dealer are to be in a straight line. However, the distance between BDC and dealer is only considered. The transportation distance can increase like last one. This is why we consider the distance and alignment together using an ARPA. Smaller ARPA would put more emphasis on good alignment. In order to better understand, I prepared the animation. You can see the trade-off the between <laughs> distance and alignment by different ARPA. The second one is capacity and load problem. Um, this step determine the capacities of VDCs and static routes between plant and VDC that are assigned to the dealer. The objective is to minimize the sum of logistic cost, lead time cost, and VDC cost. Um, since it is difficult to determine the capacity and route, uh, we use the classification and regression approaches. Let me explain to you in more detail. We divided the overflow analysis into two pages. The overflow, uh, we separated the overflow is occur or not 
by conducting a support vector machine, so called SVM. Then we perform the regression analysis with the historical data with positive overflow cost. In this way, we predicted the overflow cost. The next analysis is about the dwell time. The dwell time is actually a nonlinear function. To avoid the nonlinearity of dwell time, uh, uh, sorry, uh, to avoid the nonlinearity of dwell time, we proposed a vector based model. We predicted the we predicted the dual time using segmented linear regression, therefore a piecewise linear function for dual time is represented with three segments. The yellow line represents a two-day requirement of the minimum dual time. For the dynamic routing case, we use the heuristic to determine which VDCs to send the cars. The idea of the heuristic is to aggregate the cars to make bigger groups. Let's look at the simple example for aggregating cars using dynamic routing. Uh, we may change the route of the cars of the link A and B to A and D if A and D is included in one of the case of these passes. After the change of route, the transportation cost and dwell time can be reduced. From now on, Yugang will be presenting. Good afternoon, I am Yu Kyung Lee, and let me explain about the reinforcement learning and fiber, final delivery section. Uh, <clears throat> to solve this problem, we applied reinforcement learning to, solve, uh, to make the decision about when and how to send the vehicles to the next VDC in a long-term perspective effectively. Um, <clears throat> first of all, Reinforcement learning is learn a series of actions that maximizes the reward in a given environment. Like this figure, we, we have developed deep Q network to determine how the action should be carried out. We will give a simple example to see how the state is defined. There are two elements in, that define state, the first of which is the number of vehicles ready to be transported at time k. The other is expected inventory status at VDCJ. Uh, for the case of this being negative, imply the possibility of an overflow. Uh, and one state is consisted of 48 hours and segmented into eight parts. Using this state, we can determine the best batch size to shift vehicles from VDCI. Uh, if time, state time zero is defined as shown, we can take two actions. The first section is sending five vehicles to the next VDC at time zero. And the second is to hold. The reward for each action is calculated as follow. Uh, finally, the RL engine selects a series of action, which gives the best total sum of reward over flame horizon. Now we will explain about the final delivery that occurs between final VDC and dealer. Uh, we make decision about when and how to bundle up and deliver to each dealer. And we should, we should consider a v vehicle's arrival type and VDC, so we develop a modified VRP heuristic algorithm. VRP heuristic algorithm has three parameters called period, frequency, and delta. Period means planning horizon. Frequency means the number of times that makes VRP solution in a one day. And delta means minimum number of cars that can be in one truck road. The basic idea of algorithm is to compare several solutions with different parameters. And this algorithm applies to without AV scenario. To illustrate this point, the slide shows the delivery of 10th and 11th of January with delta value of 8. It means at least 8 cars should be loaded onto a truck. 
out of five routes, only one and three are considered for the execution. For the next day, there are more dealers added. Only four and six are considered for the execution, and the following procedure is repeated several times. Next, I, I will explain the algorithm which applied with AV scenario. The algorithm for the AV is based on that of without AV. Uh, let's assume that the following situation is given. First of all, we select all dealer from within 300 miles from VDC. Next, uh, let those automated vehicles deliver themselves. After removing or received car, the VRP heuristic algorithm generates a milk run route. Let's call this type one route. Then select the farthest dealer from the VDC for each route and select the nearest dealer close to the farthest dealer. And we can make new route. The, especially the type two route deliver farthest dealer Farthest dealer by AV delivery. Uh, because the because a truck is more expensive over travel distance, the distance reduction can decrease the cost. By comparing the delivery cost of type one and two route derived from this process, the algorithm select the inexpensive route as the final solution. Now Jin Young will explain the result of our algorithms. This heat map shows the result of network design. We do not consider the delivery cost to dealer, to dealer here. The value in heat map means the estimated cost by different Q and alpha. As we mentioned before, Q is the number of VDC, and alpha is a value to control the trade-off. We used the combination of alpha 0.65 and Q44 that is expected the lowest cost for the remaining of tests. This result is not in entry. Additionally, we tried considering the delivery cost in network design after submitting the report. We found that the cost was reduced in different combination of Q and alpha. So we, we expect that our algorithm to perform better. Here's the result of our RL model. This bar chart show how our RL model determined the batch size to ship vehicles by truck and rail as you can see, full load is the most in both bar charts because it's the most cost-effective way to save transportation cost. But sometimes RL takes small batch size considering lead time and overflow cost in, in the long term. Here's our VRP heuristic performance. We applied our VRP heuristic into dataset 2 and checked how effective it was. This price table shows that costs are down nearly 38 and 32 percent in both cases. Let's see this visualization of delivery process. Compared to historical results, our heuristic showed a better solution on the same set of dealers. This is the final result. This heuristic has a couple of parameters, and we could get better solution by adjusting them. This implies that our algorithm can be adjusted more on different situation and data. Thanks again to Informs and General Motors and judging committee for giving us a great opportunity. Thanks for your attention.